Here we go. The next story is from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for getting my cousin fired from her job? My cousin used to work for a pretty big tech company whose name I won't mention for privacy reasons. Coincidentally, her boss was my best friend from high school and college. There's this project their team has been working on that is quite confidential, and obviously that means you cannot leak information publicly. However, during one of the family gatherings, my cousin was openly talking about it, actually more like boasting about it. I told her not to talk about it and be more careful, but she didn't seem to take my advice. You may say that this was just family, so it's fine, but there were dozens of people, and some of them aren't the most reliable people in my opinion. They could spread the information, and it would only put my friend's job at risk since he's the team leader and responsible for everything. So I let him know what my cousin was saying, and he fired her yesterday. My cousin must have put two and two together and realized that I was the one who snitched on her. She was quite angry with me and called me slurs over the phone. To make up for this, I offered to give her referrals so she could have an easier time finding a new job, but she didn't want anything to do with me anymore. Even my own parents are angry at me for getting her fired, but from my point of view, I just reported what happened and how she broke an NDA and he did the rest. I thought my friend was just going to warn her, but but I never thought he would do what he did. Am I really the astronaut here like everyone at my family is telling me? Edit! My dad, who's also angry at me, is the CEO at a large company. He never shares anything with me or anyone else outside of work, not even a single detail, unlike my cousin who is spilling the beans completely. Wait a second. But he is angry at you? Okay. <clears throat> I think I think this this is proximity effect that we're seeing here. I think I think the people who are angry with you are angry with you because you've caused them indirect pain. They have to hear about it. They have to deal with with the cousin and maybe cousin's mom. They have to deal with people directly connected to this who are unhappy that this happened. You did not take the action that got her fired. She did. You did not breach an NDA. You did not put this this classified information out there in the public and boast about it even after being warned not to you did not make the decisions that led to her termination she made those decisions you alerted your friend about it to protect your friend not to maliciously get her fired you're not you're not in control of his actions just like you're not in control of the cousin's actions you simply made him aware of what this woman was doing to protect your friend if that is true here and it wasn't to maliciously get your cousin fired. This is an NTA. It is an NTA. You tried to tell her and she didn't listen. It is an NTA. And I, I know you were surprised by how your friend reacted. But again, you can't control his actions just like you can't control your cousins. It might have been worth a little bit more conversation with a friend to be like, OK, what are you planning on doing here? I just want to be prepared uh, so that I know how much shit I'm about to be in. If your friend had just been like, hey, we hear about that again and you're gone. That may have not been whatever he set out to do whenever he met with her to talk about this too. It could have been that he started talking to her about it and she bucked up and denied it or or went went crazy on him. She could have taken additional actions that also led to her termination. It may not have been just this one thing. It doesn't matter because because she can't accept responsibility for her own actions. You're the person who did this bad thing to her.